Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once well poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Roy G. Guzman from Catrachos, uh, published by Grey Wolf Press in 2020. Um, this is about midway through the collection and is entitled, When a Person Says Go Back to Your Country. When a person says, go back to your country, that's exactly what you do. Though you can't tell if you'll aggressively run or trip on national borders you'll have to make up for. The declaration's so thunderous that even the floor can't hold still. And whether or not you have a passport on you, or you're wearing any shoes at all to cross the thorniest distance of yourself, where oceans mean the same as potable water, or if the neighbors are having sex while you're dragging sacks of regrets that might as well be trash bags, leaky and heavy, so they call the cops anyway, is insignificant. Because by then you're not an adult, but a child aspiring to behave like a breadwinner, and when you can't find this country to which you're asked to return, though back has always meant finding an undisclosed space to vanish in, you try to give a retort. Not an argument exactly, but a glimpse of the other body that can easily escape through our tongues, and you usually wait until the speaker has remembered to go back to his family, since his family can be remembered and you curl into the night sash, cold out of habit, to your dwelling, though there's nothing in there, even if you have purchased all the furnishings, furnishings, because a man who decides what a country, that a country is not an extension of one's heart, can easily say that's not what he meant, that what he meant was more like, we all just need to get along, man. I don't want any trouble, man. I don't want any trouble. And that's what you're debating when you remember that the child you carry on your back hasn't been fed in days, months, his heavy breathing, a river overflowing as you multiply uncertainty before you, which hides behind the safest sanctuaries, even inside. Most countries can't recall their mothers, just as shame can't be extracted from any medical devices or prayers, if innocence can be taken by force only once. What is truly seized thereafter is absence, only absence. Um, and that was Roy G. Guzman, When a Person Says Go Back to Your Country. Um, from Contrachos, uh, Grey Wolf Press, 2020. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, I hope it gives you something to think about. Um, uh, my own, uh, for me, turning through this collection brought... A lot of things to mind although my own navigation through u.s immigration um in many ways was different and in, in a lot of ways less traumatic um i still <laughs> connect with a lot of the frustration difficulty and pain and i think many of us uh if we haven't been through that um should take the time to get to know um, those who are navigating um, immigration, um, whether it's in the United States or in other countries, but I think especially in the United States, which often seems to have constructed an elaborate labyrinth um, for the sole purpose of, of keeping people out as opposed to creating opportunities for individuals and families to be united and to define opportunities to build new lives in safety um, and with every opportunity afforded to every other resident on the land um there's much that can be done so i'm looking forward to changes in the system and perhaps uh someday i'll be able to come back um and visit uh i don't know if i'll be back to live but uh <laughs> i'm grateful for the time i spent in the states um grateful that i had a home country to return to and people here um thank you for listening to this poem and thank you for um being a part of this series i, I hope you're enjoying these videos i hope you uh give this video a thumbs up and like it if you did enjoy this video and this particular poem um, and check out the description of the video for more information about roy g guzman and his uh his book and, and where to purchase it 
I hope uh, you subscribe to the channel as well. Um, and if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified with every new uh, new upload for every new video that's out, uh, which should be every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, I am toying with some other um, other parts of this series or maybe a parallel series to, to offer some other things related to poetry. Um, but I'm open to suggestions from you, from you. Um, if you have poets um, and poems that you would like me to, to tackle and include, or other subjects that you'd like to, to see featured on the series. Um, uh, wherever you are, I hope you're stay, staying safe and staying well and doing the best you can to make the most out of the situation. Um, I'm grateful at least I'm surrounded with books and, and plenty of opportunities to read and to, to delve into uh, the wonderful literature that um, has been created uh, by many, many different writers all over the world. And I hope that you take this opportunity as well to discover and reimmerse yourself in uh, their voices and uh, find joy in that. Um, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And until next time, uh, stay safe, stay well, stay engaged in the good work of creating art and uh, find ways to share it with those around you. Um, and until next time, um, take care and we'll be back again soon. Bye.